it's kind of the same thing that it means to me. It's just like her escape. And um, I think, you know, what's really cool about that is she, she does love it so much, but she gives it up almost, um, you know, as kind of being stubborn and not wanting to, you know, relate to her dad. And uh, what I love is how they have that bond and how slowly she starts to open up to the piano as soon as she starts opening up to her dad again. I think that's a really beautiful turn point in the story. Now, given that there's a book too, do you feel like when you have a book and a script, you have more of an emotional blueprint? Very much so. But Nicholas, he could have just written the script and I think he would have put as much of the emotion and feeling and depth into it had he not written a book. It's just a bonus, I think, for fans. You know, I, I read it and I, I really liked it. thought it had really good messages of love in there and, and, and family and friendship. Um, I think all Nicholas books do and all his stories do. How different are writing a script and writing a novel for you? In some ways, writing a script is much easier because, it, A, it's shorter. It's, it's only about a, a third or a quarter of the length. And you're allowed to tell, not show, because it's the actor's job to do all the showing. In other words, you're farming out part of the major challenge of writing uh, just by putting it on paper. She walks in the door angry. You know, I can't write that sentence in a novel. I have to show the anger. Well, I know that Miley will show that anger, so it's, it's easy. So what initially resonated with you about Will? Um, biggest thing for me was uh, I really liked that he wasn't the typical cool guy. You know, I, I was kind of nervous about that before I read the script. Didn't want to play just the love interest. Um, and what I really liked is he had his own story to tell, and, and that was cool. Well, and he also gets to throw down a little bit, too, which I didn't expect. Too. Yeah, I mean... gets to throw down a little bit, yeah. <laughs> what I like about that, too, is, you know, he's, he's, not, he's not by any means the tough guy. And I like that, you know, when he, he does get into that, um, you genuinely think, you know, you don't know if he's going to win that fight. He's, he, you know, he's not the tough guy. The other guy is the tough guy. I wanted the movie to have an indie film sensibility, even though it's obviously a big budget Hollywood thing. Um, and so it was very important for me early on that we get um, cool indie bands that, uh, to bring that sensibility into this movie. Cool. What's yeah. typically on your playlist? I listen to a lot of Zac Brown at the moment. Um, he's really cool. On my playlist, Oh wow, Band of Skulls, um, gosh, uh, Graveyard, I have to go and get my iPod and send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all over the spectrum. I love everything from, uh, from way back, Ricky Lee Jones, I love Nora Jones, I love U2, I love all the old rock and roll, Elton John and, and uh, Led Zeppelin. I like rock, I like country western, I like Bob Marley for goodness sake. So, you know, when I'm, when I'm feeling like I need a break, I'll generally put on some Bob Marley. You know, I listen to a lot of Nirvana and a, a lot of Radiohead and that's kind of some of the stuff that, you know, I was thinking she would listen to. And so we picked songs that we thought would go along well and, um, I mean, the, the movie has such amazing songs and amazing artists that we have in there and it's great. Now, which Nirvana songs do you always go back to? I'm just curious. <laughs> it's actually really funny. My brother is 15 and he's in like a Nirvana tribute band <laughs> and um, so every time I go to one of those shows he always makes me uh, sing with them smells like teen spirit always never fails I'm like Brandon please don't make me do this today and I'll always get up and sing with them so it's pretty fun now do you feel like the movie's gonna inspire new music at all for you yeah um, I think it, it definitely did when I look at you and this other song called I hope you find it and um, so hopefully I just continue to write more songs like that, but I'm kind of taking a pause after this next record on my album for a little while, and I just want to focus on acting. Sometimes you have to be apart from people you love, but that doesn't mean you love them any less. Sometimes it even makes you love them more. Look 